Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Twins in Eve. I'm the Lone Wolf. And I didn't have a lot of time to check out the news this week, but I still wanted to make a video for you guys. So I think I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm doing to make some money in Eve at the moment and talk a little bit about a little bit about the economics uh, from those items. I'm uh, I'm here in Tradehub.dixie where I sell uh, most of my stuff. And uh, first of all, I have four planets in planetary interaction that are making some of the post fuels. Um, my thinking is that uh, post fuels uh, get used up, so they will always be in demand, and the chance is uh, higher that uh, things will be more stable. Uh, I have some robotics coolants and oxygen. Unfortunately, if I look at the market details, Let's say for robotics, uh, on a one month period, you can see that they've been dropping a little bit. Uh, it's way more even uh, for uh, for the coolants. It dropped from 7,500 to practically 6,700 ISK. So I'm going to hold on to this for now. Uh, I think it's uh, the changes in zero zero that are affecting uh, the post fuel prices at the moment. Uh, it's a lot more difficult for people to make money in zero zero. So I think they're uh, abandoning a lot of uh, of buses over there. So demand has been uh, is down for them. At least that's my theory. I'm not sure. Um, I'm also a miner. You can probably tell from uh, from the materials I have in the hangar. And uh, these prices have been going up. Um, <clears throat> for Tritanium, it's not really a very good graph. But uh, Tritanium has definitely been going up. If I try to sell it now, there's a buy order at 3.29. It used to be below 3, I think. Not that long ago, uh, at the beginning of the year. And uh, the rise can definitely be seen in Isogen. If I take uh, the one month graph, you can see that it's definitely going up from just over 70 to over 80. So for the next few weeks, it looks like I'm going to concentrate on uh, Feldspar and Umber to uh, to maximize my profits. Uh, the Mexalon has not really been moving a lot. I think that's because um, the ore uh, you mine for Mexalon, uh, Plagioclase, uh, was the most popular one before the rise of these prices so a lot of people uh, have been mining it and uh, demand will have been uh, more stable for Mexalon uh, Mikasite has been dropping I'm not sure why but it could be that the zero zero changes are, um, are making it uh, that much harder for zero zero alliances to make money so they're not soaking up so much of these high quality materials anymore and uh, this is allowing um, supply in high sick to go up and thus uh, dropping the prices uh, let's have a look at noxium that looks pretty stable maybe a, a little bit of a of an increase but not that much and zidrin uh, also pretty stable, maybe even a little bit down uh, over the one month period. <coughs> and the other one I'm keeping an eye on are the Plexis. I've heard that there have been uh, more fights in Zero Zero lately and a lot of uh, alliances tend to replace their capital losses with um, with Plex, they, which they throw on the markets to get the ISK. So we can see a rise at the beginning of this month and it's been pretty stable since then. And then if I go back for six months, you can see that it's uh, well it's it's looking like it could be a top. So I'm going to hold out for uh, maybe plex below 350 and I'm hoping it will go as low as 330. Then I'm definitely gonna buy a few of them. At 350 I think I'll buy one and then hold out to see what it's going to do after that and uh, I definitely buy I don't know three or four of them if it hits 330 
So for now I'm going to um, hoard most of my most of the materials I mine just uh, to keep an eye on the on the prices for now uh, I check on them daily and the one thing I am a bit worried about is that most of the butters only had a 40 40 day 14 day ban sorry um, which means that uh, when they get back I think next week we could see uh, them dumping a lot of their stocks on the market and we could see a lowering of the prices again but uh, I'm going to keep a close eye on it and as soon as I see the prices uh, dropping again I'm going to dump my stocks as well but for now I think uh, in the short term uh, definitely tritanium and isogen could go a bit higher still so that's uh, that's my my uh, short-term economic outlook and um, I'll keep you guys, guys informed uh, for the rest of it. I'll see you guys next time.